Welcome to the final day of the Brawl Stars World Finals 20. It's time. Day three World Finals are now underway. First post already being set up then early on by Naui. Meow's gonna be coming forward. Does knock him a bit far away. Doesn't surely would want him to catch on a wall there. Second post ready to roll now from Naui. Does throw it out towards that mid, setting up these tracks so he can chug towards that safe. Slowly but surely, the Train Conductor is going to be able to find a way down the middle of this map over time. The passive charge of his super as Charles stays at bay. Meow now getting in the mix here. A stun going down. Now we now entering as well. The smoke attacking that high safe. Meow barely staying alive as Lou provides some coverage here. Bruce now moving towards Meow, who has to back away, but now he is just letting loose on this high safe, and as a result, it's a little bit of a base race to kick us off. Yeah, damage on both sides, and he comes back as well, cleans up that mid, stops a bit of damage coming through from Luminosity, but Charles still raining down, but it's just nothing compared to what Chuck is doing to that safe. Meow coming forwards now, gets the ball through, but hypercharge on defense from Chino. There's Chuck again, though, coming through. Surely might be able to get this done here. Meow with another hit, but away goes Chuck, and on the base is the bear, but it's not enough. Zeta close out game one. Chino just gonna passively play this as well. Hiding the grass, carefully dodging, trying to creep up. Now pops the gadget as well. Blast Meow marches forward as now he trades to the other end. Garo shuts down the shotgun brawler, but Patchy and Charles are on the loose. Yeah, Patchy stunned up though, and no knockback from Meow. That's not gonna knock him away. It's not gonna keep him out of damage. Now, now we go towards that safe, but does actually come back from him as well. BB Ball out of nowhere, coming from those back spawns, trying to find some connections onto safe. Now the hypercharge comes through. Should land on Patchy and does. Now he joins them on safe, and Chino's too low to defend. Back in action, Chino with a hypercharge and super available, popping it now, connecting with Meow. Down goes one. Now he looking for damage. A second following through here as Chino shuts that down. Luminosity with a little room to breathe, but they need a lot of damage here. It's defensive bear after defensive bear, and that's not what you need with that need to you want to throw them an offense. Surely let Shelly deal with it. But he's not even there waiting for him to come forwards. And that's free for now he to come through and get some damage with Chuck and actually returns to the mid safely once more. Easy super here as Chino fires a final blast. Meow, though, looking down the map, fires a BB bubble. The bounce back goes through in Zeta Division. Take set number one. Chino getting some shots through. Now he's falling quite low as well, and Charles in a good position to get the pinch through. But Meow looking for his super. Does get it now. I'm going to isolate Charles into this realm, grab some of those mushrooms for some heals along the way. But Patchy, he's trying to aggress Garo. He's got to make something happen. But Meow's actually losing this 1v1 matchup, and the realm comes out of it. And a big hit from Charles will give Luminosity the lead. Zeta gonna have to do something special here. Garo getting it, something done now. Low HP shut down by Luminosity though. 10 to one, nine stars needed. Smiles coming out from Charles, but don't speak too soon, brother. Patchy picking up one. Chino's piling along as well. Chino with five on his head, Charles with four. Safely away from Garo. It's going to be one one here in set number two. Well, Chino back over this left-hand side, aggressive position there, but Meow should be able to deal with him quite quickly. Good start for Luminosity over the right and in the mid, though. Meow claims the left, but Patch is surely getting pinched down momentarily. Gero can go aggressive onto him, and he doesn't have the DPS to deal with that kind of heat. Another strong start for Luminosity here. Charles hunkered down in the mid. 30% now for the blue roster as Meow looks to flank here. Chino on the bottom right-hand side. A duel in the mid now as Mr. P looks to assist. A teleport away for Naui, and it's still Luminosity Gaming holding strong in the mid. Meow getting some shots through, but not enough to shift Luminosity away from this position. Patchy coming forward, Mortar down. Salty Barrel to tank as well, but it's just not enough. Luminosity still ticking forwards. Chino making a hero's effort right now up top. Finally falls, but Charles, Patchy are in the mid. 95, 98, 99, 100 in a West number one seed have taken a set. Double left once more, and who can blame them? Fat Splatter this time to cover their backs down this side, but Patchy finds a way through, trying to cover for Chino, but Charles over-aggressing a little bit off the start. Chino gonna find Garo, but an early super wasted from him, and Chino's got one in the back. 8-bit ready to TP away, and a mute ready from Meow. This is looking like a Zeta game. Fantastic recovery, but now it's starting to look a little bleak here. Speed going down. Patchy rushing for seven gyms here. It's Meow on the weekend as well. Seven gyms now in Charles' pocket as Chino's back in action. Some assistants coming alongside him as well, and they're still contending for the mid. Charles playing this really well as well, able to evade so many of these 8-bit shots using another speed as well. Wants this gem that's going to be spawning in just a second, and if they can help Chino get in a good spot, they're going to be looking good. Patchy getting muted out though, but Charles trying to help him through there. Two shot down. 
down, but the pull missed by Chino. Cleans up that turret, but another one already established, and they got the kill on Chino as well. Eight to six, and Zeta looking good. This is not over yet. No super for Charles, and he has to be careful here. Has to balance these phase shifts very carefully. Does now have a speed. A kill going down, and now some Sandstorm as well. A gym on the ground for them here, and they're dangerously close to countdown. LG in one, Gero got to be close to a super, but Charles gets the 10th phase shift out of his range. Hypercharge gets him into a good spot, but now it's used. We see Patchy going up top, trying to take some of them down, deflate this aggression that they're going to be bringing in. But now the loose super's there, almost gets the freeze, but Sandstorm, super from Chino, we're going to set five. Get locked and loaded, everybody. It's going to be a thriller here. One more game to decide who goes home. One goes home, one straight to the semi-final. Will it be you? Will it be NA? We will see right now. It's gonna be a kickoff here in Zeta Division, starting strong once again. It's Charles, lone defender now. Meow, working with his teammate here. Nothing to do, wide open. That in Zeta Division, throw it in early. Early lead, 20-second goal, and it's convincing from Zeta, but now LG bounce into speed. They're getting forward, but the realm for Patchy, 1v1 versus Meow, Twister on the defensive side. Double pull, he misses the shot, it's the wall, but still 3v1 should be a goal, evened out, and it comes down to the one goal. It's our final game, and it's been a speed run here so far. Once again, the middle of the map where all the action's going down. This time it's Luminosity taking advantage. A pushback here, a hypercharge inbound as well. They're throwing the ball up. Luminosity moving forward. Patsy, not a lot of HP. They drag him down a face shift through. They missed the shot. Defense successful. And now a counter opportunity for Zeta Division. And through, they're going to need a pull. The, the dash, but he gets the gravity, but he grabs the ball. He gives him it! Zeta take it! Heading straight to the semis! And Luminosity will be going home! Yeah, well, instant control from CR once again. Maru getting slowed down by these shots of Moya and Tensai should be able to add some more damage in as well. Already got his peep, but Shitampo cleaned up on that right-hand side for the first time in a while. Poke damage from Tensai here. Hasn't popped the peep just yet. Lovely stuff. Lines up Joker 2, hit by the Gale Force. Here's more. Moya keeps Maru in Maori at arm's length for now. And again, just a tap here, tap there. Here's the gravity, sucks Joker in. Maru tries to come to the rescue. And of course, an attacking shade coming out of that dark portal gets a bit of free damage. It's already 25% Trav on that safe. 41% taken off the reply totem, and they're yet to even glance at the Crazy Raccoon safe. Crazy Raccoon absolutely not bothered about that damage amp on that left-hand side. Reply totem not in a position to set Maru up for success just yet. 41%. They have absolutely battered that safe down. Murray finally able to deal with Shitampa with an opportunity, a window for a Plyat Totem to step into mid. Tensai putting pressure down and drawing Joker out of mid. Yeah, and getting damaged too. Oh, He's gonna oh, fall. No. He comes around the back and he doesn't communicate it. Joker gonna be able to burn Tensai down, but the rest of SCR gonna be joining them on top. 30 seconds. Even if Totem get on safe right now, they're gonna need every single shred of damage they can do straight onto that safe, and they're going nowhere. Shitampo locking this down. Moya and Tensai joining them up top two, and this is a set to CR. Absolutely systematic deconstruction of Reply Totem's defense here. Yeah, they can get the kills and damage, but none of it's been on the safe. Tensai steps up once more as Shitampo from the periphery will make sure the job is well and truly done. Shitampo's low on this right hand side though. Can he get the kill? He's evading Tensai. Well, he does get it. Brings it back a little bit closer. Moya's low and the bounce will flip it. Mori's got to survive this one though. Tensai's throwing nicely. He's too small. Just evades it. 15 seconds and he's got to get through this choke point. Now oh, Crazy Raccoon have got to go on the offensive but they lose Tensai in order to do so now. Seven seconds left of the round. Shitampo going to get tapped up. He has super available but who can he go for? It's a three star lead and that one goes wayward. He knows it's over. Finally, Reply Totem get on the board. Moya went really aggressive and lost the mech off start, which did lose him a lot of value. Can he stay in it this time? The toolbox will tank and he will. There's a sense here that this team from Crazy Raccoon is designed to pick up the blue star and try and play safe for much of the rest of the game. And when they have to go aggressive and they, for example, don't have a meg mech, it seems like a very dangerous proposition. Oh my goodness, Maori. Yep, got the mark, got the kill. Reply Totem now with that one star lead. No blue star required. 
And Shitampo marked up in this matchup on the left-hand side. If he stands still, he's going to be in a real tough spot unless he feels really confident about it. Has the super, then that could be dangerous in the closing seconds. Same if a Grom Bomb does come down. Five-star lead. It's huge for a play turn. And Shitampo also marked up by Maru. So if he tries to go aggressive, he could be on the wrong end of it. Maru Ooh. gets the mark. We got caught by the Sugar Ray. Shitampo walks, though, into that nest egg. But there's no follow-up here. Four play six with 27 seconds left in the round. How do you come back from this one? You have a mech out of mech. They've got a big job to do, and I don't think it's happening. Reply Totem get themselves a set, and now we have a game. Tensai, as we expected in the mid there, is the powerful sidelanders of Spike and Sandy go at it with their opposite numbers. Maori, though, wins out against the Sandy. Tensai and Moya look to back away as Joker gets picked up by the Shockwave. Mori will hope to threaten here. Lurk on that right-hand side, but Shitampo's back off spawn, and he'll collect that ball. Maru the bear, though, and Fofur used as well to get the shield activated onto it. Moya gonna come forward, but not gonna find anything against Maru here. The bear doing so much work. Tensai's got the knock, but he goes down as well. No stun defense, and Reply Totem carry on from the previous set. Straft is disgusting. We'll talk about how durable this Reply Totem is, and then the Fofur bear on top of that. That's three tanky brawlers, and a max versus three. That's gross. Maru here tries to step forward, will be brought down though. The Sandstorm dissipates a player advantage for, for CR. Yeah, Joker's gonna be able to get that dash with a sweet stun. From Shitampo sends him to sleep and puts him down. Tensai getting Ranger. even forwards with a hyper charge, but Maru's got the defense cycled out, and CR has the answer to the Rosa. 1-1. One, one. The barriers come down, and Maru's out in the open, gets brought down very, very low. Sandstorm is huge now. Crazy Raccoon can advance undercover. Of the swirling sands, ball still caught up, but Mori might be in trouble here. That shot didn't quite connect from Tensai, but eventually they bring the Nita down. Mori tries to step forward, but the shockwave's gonna knock the back at three versus one. A crazy raccoon, they're hungry. Blood in the water is Tatapo, will walk it in. Match point for Crazy Raccoon coming up next. The power of this composition, how effective Sandy can be, Maisie just being unreal right now on attack and on defense. Crazy Raccoon are. Steps away from a semi-final berth and once again eliminating Reply Totem from an international tournament. Well, CR in a good spot to deal some damage now, but Totem gets this super. Going to be able to use that and the, the, all the grass being built by Maru is going to be so helpful for them. Mori moving forward in a good position to deal some burst damage. But Moya relieves some pressure, now he gets this super. Clearly hit a good amount of shots here and Maru fo focusing around his left. I think there was a Sweet Dreams miss there as well. But Tensai coming forward with a good super. And now the aggressive push surely should be a goal pass to the left. And Tensai is going to slot it in. He was actually missed the ball, but just gets it in with the help of a super. It's unclear what Tensai is trying to like very quickly pick the ball up and super shot or use that super. Either way, they managed to get what they came for there. Keep Maru low on HP and blow Joker up in the middle seems to be the strategy. Here comes the Max. Oh, he wants to go with the phase shift, but the shockwave says no. Just Mori defending this one out now. One goal between Crazy Raccoon in the semi-finals. Reply Totem looking good on this defense though. Mori holding off well, but Shitampo one super and this could all be over. Tensai has his, just looking for the hypercharge Moya. Hypercharge in hand already, Super's there. Tensai gets his stun on Joker as well. Shampoo's gonna get the kill. Moving forward, CR gonna get to Reply Totem. Out of there, Maru double knocked, and Crazy Raccoon move on. Once again, the East Asian region rear their head and say, we'll be taking a spot in the semi-finals. That's really what Sansa's gonna look to do here. Trade some health and potentially the mech here for the Blue Star. Okay, Walking Kane comes in, but all of a sudden attention turned in Sergeant's direction. He's one tap away from getting picked off and Sansa says, no mech, no problem. We got Blue Star and we got two extra. Right now the plugged in star power for Trashard will provide that additional maneuverability. And as the men find themselves in that back spawn side, as Revenant sort of gearing things up. If they get Sergeant to gain super then, things are dangerous. Gnarly, but he goes down. Seven stars over to SC Man. Bobby there had the slow gadget ready for a potential engage, but eventually he has to use it anyway. Response still has the chance to close the gap with that dimensional door, but Sergeant slow. He draws Sans in. He gives his life, a life up for it. Response now trying to get away through the door of his own, but he comes off second best, and that mark means Trashard is Easy prey. Zar was on a sliver of HP but stays alive. And that's gonna bring STM in the first win of today. Good aggression so far from Bobby on Shards in the mid, but look at Sergeant again. Really utilizing these early gadgets to try to get these trades and the right hand side sounds will fall. It's just Zar on the mid now, but he's doing a pretty decent job. Life plant to keep him in the mix. And now all lies on response to clear up that right hand side. Level of rotation into mid there by Zar with two teammates down. He keeps STMM within striking distance in percentage. 
He'll go down. Oh, the trade avoided there by Sergeant Sands. Oh, goodness, that could have been ugly. Sergeant doesn't quite get the one versus two, but STMN are crippled at the moment. Got to convert this, though, into a percentage lead. Revenant have been all over the point for so much of this round. The mark was great for Bobby Sands, easily able to follow up on that damage. But again, Sergeant Clash is such a problem. Bobby lines him up, but again, we're at 69% almost and counting. Revenant Esports have such a healthy lead. But now this is where SMN can really start to thrive. Shant is marked up, and look at the ricochet in there between Response and Sergeant. Now approaching Fawlty, and SMN are still looking pretty good. Sergeant, though, if he makes a play here into the zone, Bobby forced into the realm here. Zoro as well. Sergeant is just going to go super aggro here. Fires Bobby, start on the way out. Hypercharge popped in. Zar still standing. And he's oh, oh, what? A super from Zar. Over to 1v2, the life plant not even required. And from here, SMN can build their comeback. Another mark connecting onto Lola Trishan, a non-factor on that spawn. Sergeant taking a ton of poke damage as well as response can only look on and play from medium range. An 85 and counting SMN behind once more. Sans is going to go with the hypercharge. Throws down the scrappy. Good amount of health here and they do force Revenant away. Bobby comes out of the Shadow Realm on top though. Now two versus two as Trishan is low as he gets. 91 and counting. Response was hoping for more. But STMN now gets themselves a lead. Sergeant steps up. We'll have to 1v2. But Sans says no. He's traded. And STMN. That's two on the trot. One more game away for a set for Revenant. And again, that would be a monumental lift here. Look at this early response with the gadget as well. It's almost the goal. The ball trickling on the line. It's not over. Coming in. It's going to be able to walk it. That's another goal in the first opening 20 seconds. Dangerous. Such a powerful high damage composition. If Revenant can get close to SCMN. And so they did. Bobby trying to keep his distance here from Sergeant, who lines Sands up and brings him down. Response is more than happy to take this damage. They also get a free super out of Zar. They'll take that happily. SCMN are on the borrowed time here now. The bear coming in from the left-hand side and the chaos in the mid. Sergeant now with huge explosions and that is another goal. And most importantly, the set for Revenant. So I'm going to pop on the left-hand side there. The slow, the stun on Shant, but okay. nonetheless, the gems are still much more with Revenant. SCMN, they've got one in the mid. They'll take it to six. They get another one as well. We are all tied game. Sergeant needs to re-earn the magic hand as well. Bobby can get the stun of the gem carrier. Sans though, low HP, can't contest it. Trishar with a steal. The mute from Zara is huge. And that just might have some the gems. The gems. SCMN, the countdown though is going to be hard to reset. Sergeant able to pick up so many of those gems there. Now another magic hand to bring Bobby to his demise. Sans has no choice but to stand and deliver. A Sandstorm though won't help him close the gap as it's saving Private Sergeant. As Response heads straight to the top of the map to defend the Gene. Revenant Esports, bit of a throwback composition, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Shashan low here, fast spots from Zar, beautiful. beautifully done, just to get that inner connection and now the three versus two gems in the mid going the way of Bobby. Remember this cop allows for individual skill expression from STMN Esports, they're able to create opportunities with gadgets and star powers of their own. Uh oh, you connect some Sergeant, he doesn't mind, uh -oh. he's going to pick up the gems here and Trishan's able to find Sands, it's bad for Bobby, three Bobby. gems, big ah. bad Bobby is brought down and Trishan will scoop up two. Trishan's stunned but there's not enough damage there for Sands, Bobby has now get involved, guess what, another super's in his way, he can't bring the buster down. He's low, but he's able to get a couple of gems away. Now, the gems spilled everywhere. Oh, it's it up. Zaro's able to come in and snap them all up for himself. This could be the dying breaths of Revenant Esports. When everything was looking bleak, Zaro was the last man standing. And Revenant know that it's looking bleak. They've got to land this mark. This magic hand for Sergeant is now crucial. Sans trying to buy seconds. For all it's worth. Will it happen? Will Revenant get the reset? Or is the India dream over? India are going home. Proceed! Hey Gaming just trying to stop that relentless charge from Tribe Gaming, which was once more started already. A kill on the left side. Just need to see that pass up to Tyrant to make this one good. And now Tyrant with a wide open net. The aggression paying off. A super shot in. And Tribe Gaming take the first goal. What a lightning fast 18 second goal here from Tribe Gaming. As K Gaming look to defend, stop that relentless charge. Tyrant is looking for a super more importantly than anything. He's got to contest Yoshi at mid. At the moment, he and I Chaos are bullying Zulon. Already a takedown there. Ope with a solo lane victory, a double kill, and a clean one here for Ope just to pass it right down the middle. Now in the mid, once again, an immediate drop of a gadget. B using the long distance here as Tyrant is forced away. I Chaos holding on to a super as well. Yoshi, ball control. A kick over to the right hand side. Now a hypercharge inbound as well. 
bottom right hand corner. Shots are going down, being landed. It's a pickup here. The rattled hive inbound as well. Another spike super, a wide open net. Drive Gaming can't move a muscle. It's gonna be SK Gaming gassing themselves up on stage. Right back in the thick of it. SK Gaming still break open these walls. Perhaps another wall break soon versus Zulon. Could be coming in. Ope's gonna go for it. Perfect connection there. Tyrant has to defend this right lane solo. Zulon's taking so much damage. He's not fast enough to get proper jukes onto the enemies. Yoshi already has a super if he wants to teleport in and get some free damage. Zulon's pushing in. There's a lot of damage there. Tyrant's continuing to stuff him back into the back right corner. And the only hope is the respawning members of I, Chaos, and Ope trying to take the damage with their invulnerability shield. But they're all out, and they're all out of help as Livy and Zulon and Tyrant all rain mutually upon this safe. Heavy fire going down, Tribe Gaming coming to life here. A lot of damage to show for it, but now back on defense. It's SK's turn with the TP in. Yashi getting a kill, a 5,520 shot as Ope looks to continue down as well. 20 to go, and SK have to get it here. It has to be a massive push from SK and a colossal teleport in. Tyrant thought about tanking it. Here comes the teleport in. Yoshi's gonna go for it. He only makes one connection. It's 53% remaining on the safe. Ope's gonna go for it, but it's no good. Tribe Gaming take it back and they take the set. Crowd on their feet. Tribe Gaming fans looking alive here in the audience now. They avoid a disastrous start. Gotta make it count. Already could be a better matchup here for Tyrant on the right side. Hopefully he's learned from some of that aggression from Yoshi in game number one. He's got to get this super farmed up for free. Much less aggressive from SK Gaming as well. Maybe they want his Libby to play into their hand on the left side. Yoshi's pushing forward. No kill just yet. And there's the bush break that we needed to see from Tyrant in game one. A major takedown though by his Livy. Pops the super, the shot as well. Yashi there to respond. He's been phenomenal this set. The aggression, he clips the wall. Still charging up that super though. Zulon covering the left hand in once again. Escaping death with about 300 HP. And now a Jesse turret established as well. Map control back in SK Gaming's hands. That's Livy with low HP as well. They need to be careful about how they approach it. They've got one in the mid, but they can't afford a loss here. They have to grab these gyms or get a takedown here. Five on the clock to go. They're extending for it, they tie it up, but the takedown inevitable! Ope there to strike! Another countdown, but this time it's SK Gaming running away with it, piling up body after body. Zulon falls, they're down to their final life, and EMEA strikes again. SK Gaming moving forward. Crazy Raccoon once again completely clobbered. Tensai had no answer. A pass up to Naoi, a walk through perhaps, bounced off of Moya, and already a goal within 19 seconds. I'm starting to regret the Gigabrain thing. I like the strategy, but these mechanical wizards on the side of Zeta have faced adversity, and now they're taking on some Titans here. Another beautiful shot from Gero, a wide open net, and Zeta Division close out set number one with flying colors. Perhaps get some damage here. Meow responds with a lot of health. Phenomenal defending option. Moya now in with the pushback. Shinedampo tries to come around from the bottom side. Huge pinch there from Meow and Kiro manages to get an elimination. Zeta Division, they're out DPSing Crazy Raccoon as it stands. And Nani needs to get on some action here. Satapo just gonna make the decision to go to the other end. They wanna pace race this fully. They're leaving Naoi on his own here. 20 to a roughly 20, and now CR laying down the fire. It's gonna be neck and neck here, down to the wire. Satapo still standing tall. Naoi on the back foot, gets the train going down, but he gets it in the final moments! CR can't stay alive! Zayda Division looking to do the unthinkable! The peep looking for an ideal target on Demoya. No, just baits out the gadget. Good dash there from Stetampo, but the one shot on Demoya with the gadget on cooldown. Tensai low HP as well. They make the connection. It's five to five. Blue Star also in favor of Zeta Division. For the first time this set, it's Zeta in control of the base. Zetampo still dashing backwards. Now is the time for Zeta to push in. Peep once more, looking for the ideal target on the Tensai. Big damage. Now down to five seconds. Zeta have everyone pressed with their backs up against the wall. Damage needs to be coming in now. Shetampo taking lots of damage, but not enough to send them packing. And Crazy Raccoon take the set. Still room for Zeta Division to improvise here and look for some new strategies. Oh my gosh. Well, if the double kill is in the playbook, then Zeta Division have executed it according to the textbook. 
Crazy Raccoon wiped out on the left side. Though a big kill from Tensai on a Meow at mid. Gives these gems over to Kiero. Tensai now encircling. Sitting in the ideal position for a mid. Zeta Division don't mind playing this more aggressively though. Meow's gonna try and advance him out of the right side. Big kill here for Naoi. No, the teleport back. But it's only one teleport down for Moya. He still has a few more remaining. But zero gems to show for this. The 8-bit completely forced out of position at mid. Zeta Division with the mind games off the early game. They come in and they play to perfection as well. They haven't left the mid yet. CR have not even grabbed a gem at this moment. Tensai, while well, he has flanked Moya in hot pursuit as well. Satampo with no super. They don't have the utility that they did last time. Now Meow getting a nice pinch here as well. Garrow on the back heels as well. The spawners, not enough here. Tensai holding on to a super, but needs to use it for a big pop-off play. They haven't played a better set, but they need to somehow survive. And Crazy Raccoon still sticking around. Tensai somehow manages to get by, and now he falls. A pull goes down. CR have established control. Now he on seriously low HP. A kill for Moya. And Garrow returns to the right side. Little super down here for Stetampo, a zoning super, if anything. Along the way, Moya has picked up eight gems and another one to match as long as they can keep this control. These fellows are calm, cool, and collected. A horrendous start for them, losing everything, and now all to gain here. A 10th gem being spawned, and they're not going anywhere from the mid. Garo needs to use this max speed. Tensai there to assist his teammate now with 10 to go. A big pickup, but an easy teleport away. And uh-oh, Crazy Raccoon are dragging us to a set number five. And now, we're gonna have to see what Crazy Raccoon are truly made of in a special moment here. They have to win two straight. It's a game of protect the president. Tensai is the one to protect. Stetampo is the first one to fall. Moya and Tensai have to play on the defense, and now he keeps on advancing in. He's already got a super to show for it. Tensai falls to the Mama Squeeze star power. Neck and neck right now. And once again, Zeta Division covering the hot zone. 50% in climbing here. CR need to hunker down. They need to get in here and they get a very good kill as well. But it's still Meow and Pam in this mid. And they're climbing and climbing and climbing and it's starting to get bad. Hope growing thin by the second. Moy is gonna try and get some value in here. Now he needs to fall. But there's no one in range to take him down. Now down goes the super from Naoi. Meow is still alive, hanging out inside of the healing. Garrow also getting taken in by the super from Stitapo. It looks good. Meow needs to fall, but he still remains alive. The survivability from Naoi and Meow is just shocking. But they have to get this control back somehow. Crazy Raccoon are threatening to usurp Zeta Vision's lead. It's do or die right now for Crazy Raccoon. Well past 85, and this could be the big moment. They're holding on for dear life. The number one seed from EMEA have taken down the Titans. Double right set this time, and Yoshi having a bit of a tough time getting past with that vision gear of Bobby, but Sans over the left, falls quite low. Zarga gonna pick up an early gem there, get the TP quite early as well. Slow down and great shots there from Yoshi to be able to put him to his knees, send him back to spawn. Speed zone place, but seem to be wasted. An early gem drop to Zarga, the gem carry goes down, and moments like that can sometimes waver and linger a little bit on the mental wall. A TP, OPE now completely out of position, but I don't think there's enough bodies there to really pick up the pieces. Sans feeds over a gem, and now SK Gaming on seven gems. Seven to the three now, as ST men are way behind, but they are trying to make up for that lost time. Four now, and ST, SK Gaming have got to start to push Bobby here. They are doing so, great shots from Yoshi, but Bobby somehow is able to survive, and now healing up accordingly. A great realm there from Sans as well, Zarr gonna TP, and yet again OP goes down on the right. So the pinch from Zarr, and Bobby bringing it back for ST men. What a fumble from OPE, but IKL's there trying to make something of it, but too low to contest it. It's gonna be Yoshi, and now IKL's healing in as OPE comes as well. This is it, five seconds, can they get the reset? Zalo, what a plus three blow from Yoshi. It's a reset, but for how long? What a play from Yoshi to knock him straight into the grasp of Chaos, but still, 12 seconds on the map and 12 gems in hand. OP coming forwards now, and it's the same again. They have a chance. Yoshi's too low to really do too much, though. Four seconds there. The TP available for Bobby to get a heal. He used it, but he almost goes down anyway. Chaos Finch in the left, but in the realm. And S STMN takes set number one. STMN just look like they are at home. They want that grand finals. They want to make sure that they are there to represent North America for the ultimate gold in the game. And here we go. SK pushing forward straight away off the bat. The face shift to there from OPE. Survive on, but they've got the high ground. 
the same as last time now. Pushed straight back in spawn, but OP over aggression, and he gets the hit! Over aggression from OP, punished by Sands. Estimate they are on the back ropes here. Chaos can be pushed down, trickled down low there from Zara, and now Sands the prime opportunity for them. But it's Bobby who gets the connection. Sands low. Oh my word! Yoshi, that was a beautiful hack gadgets to then level out the playing field. Takes two down with pretty much one shot and one gadget. Yoshi, 1v1 versus R, but he's taking so much fire. He's got the head available as well, and surely it's gonna be that thick head, the mythic gear, to be able to get more HP that Yoshi might not be able to handle. So has got time on his side. The gas has yet to close in, but Yoshi getting dangerously low. He can't avoid every shot. Zara going to have to choose now, so when he wants to bring up the head and the HP coming back. He's getting so much, so many hits. There it is. The, the, the legs have fallen, but it lands on him. What was it 95 for Yoshi? But his legs and head survive. One round for SK Gaming, but only by a sliver. For STMN, a reset chance. But they might drop a game and that's going to be proving costly. Oh, shots from Sands trying to find Chaos. He almost falls, but staying still on his feet. All three members on each side are standing. What a 1v3 from Yoshi in that previous round. But he's got to do something similar now. Bobby on this right hand side and the 1v1 against him. Chaos struggling down the mid against Zar. Head, head available. Peep ready to jump as well. OP takes a big shot to the face from Sands. And the wall tries to keep him alive, but he forces another face shift too. Keeps there, all oh, Chaos low as well, SK have got a stretch caution oh. here, and they don't! Zara finds Chaos, OP though, gonna try and push this aggression, Sans is there for helping hand, it's still three versus two. I mean, it's gonna have to be Yoshi again, OP's too low, and he gets hit by Bobby, and another tap as well! SK, one round away from defeat! But Chaos oh. low as well in the middle, oh, that was a sore Bobby, it's cooking, it's beautiful! Head ready on the right side, through comes the peep as well, but Sands in a bit of a tough spot, return to sender used as well, not gonna get any effect, OP forces a speed out, nice stuff from him, the last hurrah, Bobby gets it, huge jump on the Yoshi, and another one to follow in, just chaos, and SCMN do it! And in we go, the first match of the Grand Finals, Gonna see some of this terrain blowed on up, and now it's open. That hedge, all of a sudden, not so effective. Yeah, Meow's gonna fall here as well. Oh, Zar gets the pick up. Three versus two now, despite the position. SCMN are in a fantastic spot. Gary trying to juke these shots, but SCMN can't quite find the connections here. This is looking oh. darn good for oh. SCMN. Darrow can't escape. Sands gets involved on the right hand side, and now Novi. Oh, he's done. It's still SCMN, though, really far back. A ticket coming into the mid. So oh, nice. there he is, Sands with the pickup. A three versus two. Beautiful from SCMN. And that was what was keeping Zar out of this game. The Sprout was absolutely dominating him over the wall. And now Zar with the head first onto the jump pad can finally get into the game. Novi trying to feign a position of strength here, but Zeta Division don't have the numbers and they're going to have to give this ground eventually. And now he though shreds through it. He is going to be low. Bobby fires him quickly and easily. And it's just Garu. This round surely is going to be STMNs. Garu sees only one super up on the side of STMNs, so into the gas we go. Hudson in and gets ready for that next round. So crucial, Zal. What a clutch play to get out of a situation. He was almost no chance of winning. Oh, Meow, though, as well. No, these taps from Sands are huge. Yeah, absolutely. And he only needs one or two here to force Novi back to his side of the map. See? No look, how, look how fragile he is with that mark on him. Here comes that head first. Oh! Now, save it off. It's Zal finishing him off with the grenade. Here come as team and now. Novi has to try to find a way to stand his ground. He's going to have to use the cheat cartridge and back into the gas. He goes. It's Gero in a 1v3. It's all Sounds just trying to helping hand things until Zars back in full health. Gary's low now as well, but it's now who's creeping on that left hand side. You know he's been a problem as well. Once he gets up close and personal to Mr. P, it's dangerous, but Bobby wins it out only just. Novi able to finish the job with a burn down though, and that's another shot from Gero again. Piper reigns supreme in the middle of the map. 
Sands calls for help. The porters come through. That one gets empowered. But Gero will have to waste a shot on removing it. It's frustrating. And look at the space it takes. And look at the scoreline. Seven gems to the zero of STMN. It was just nowhere to be seen right now. They are really struggling with this too. And this Cordelius right and left lane is providing so much time for Gary to pocket what he needs. One more. And we're on countdown. This set is drifting away. Ovi picks up that last couple of gems that they need here. So some distribution across brawlers on Zeta Division with 10 seconds to work with. They're healthy enough. And there is that Piper super available for Gero in case it's needed. Both very mobile brawlers right now with four seconds to go. There is no hope for STMN to force these gems out of their hands. Well, now he falls so quickly. That's going to allow Bobby to focus entirely on this left-hand side and help out Zara try to get some earlier objective damage. But these early walking canes from Garu, that's what they've got to try and avoid. Because if the wall... Oh, there's one already. Yeah, yeah Zara immediately punished. Novi actually able to get a touch on the point and deploy some bushes with that grow light as well. Bobby can't see uh, Novi coming here, so it's a little bit scary Ooh. when those fists start coming out of the bush. The map gets opened up in the middle, and Sans needs early warning of this Rosa coming so he can get a twister nice and deep to slow him down. STMN have capped the ride. Now we need to switch. Hypercharge Bazaar. Is he going to go and do it? He will. He finds getting Naoi there, and now he will fall. But now Meow comes back with one of his own. Double stun. Finds one. Bobby going to survive just about. But oh my word. That's a second stun. Great cycling from Meow. Gero is dominating on that left hand side. He uses the dimensional door to get behind the life plan of Zar, shutting down that contingency plan from the spike. SC men have to defend. They can't go on the offense right now. They've got to get Novi off that point. And Meow also will be lying in reserve. There's no Get their second set. Oh, so squishy. If Gero has a good match, this could be done here. SMN know that this is a real problem for them. They've got to land these shots. They've got to take care of him quickly. And he's on the safe. Yeah, Gero with a bit of damage. Obviously won't be healing off that safe damage here, but definitely putting his the vision in a bit of a lead. Are you kidding me? 24% for free. Unconscionable. Once well, SCMN start to open up this map, Zayt's know they've got the early game in the pocket. It's these late moments once they are more vulnerable yeah. to attack. Gary being spotted by Bobby here and checking down a little bit of HP. These connections are all great for STMN. Gary should be going down faster Gero than this. hunting Bobby in trouble. Sticky Syrup makes a throw down. Just what the doctor ordered. They get rid of the Edgar and now it's a three versus one. Novi knows that that safe is about to get slapped up. That was good for us. Oh no. It immediately goes out though. Zar survives on. And in position, can she get some shots in the safe here? Yes, you do. You even it up. Zar gives up his life to even the ledger here. But Sans has also fallen. This is still dangerous for STMN. Only one charge of sticky syrup mixer remains for Bobby. And Gero still wants to throw down. That was much better though. STMN defending well. But now Meow oh, coming man. in. The damage booster as well. Nice connections though from Sans. He really is making this call pick work as STMN starts to move forward. Last call. Very important there, Ark. Getting a bit of free damage on the safe for STMN. But again, Gero dives on in. And all of a sudden, STMN don't have the options to peel Gero off them nearly as easily. But STMN closing forwards. Now he goes down. It's wide open for Sans. And he's starting to tap it. Oh, Meow now falls as well. STMN is going to take this surely. But it is a base race for one. They win. The bullet storm from Sands on the safe in hypercharge. That's what gets him within striking distance of the win. Love to see that now. Gary wants to go in early. Still gets a kill despite the gadget being deployed. And Meow's going to come on in too. Oh my goodness. They had a vision arc. They're not messing around now. Yeah, they are out of the gate swinging. They mean business. They are making up for that last game in a big way so far. Look at the connection from Meow. It's just, oh, Bobby over the wall though. Turns it around. But still, SCM is struggling to get started. It's good to see Zayda not overextend here. Gero did have super, but doesn't throw it away. Instead, he opts for a trade. This buys time for the very powerful Meow to come back off spawn. Zar has to respect the range of M's. Novi able to get rid of the spike here. Bobby has to use a last call to zone the right hand side of the map. But this is not going well for STMN. Yeah, the buff from Naui oh, to Meow is just dangerous and on Gero now as well. Oh, oh no. In. This is going to be a lot of damage. STMN might not be able to survive it. They've got to land these shots, get these takedowns. Now, now he's still on the right hand side here. Yeah, and he's more than happy to stay as long as he can. 13%, make it 10 left on the safe. A strong breeze will blow it away. Meow's got plenty of that here. It'll be a trade as Sands will fall. Zara has the range. Here comes the hypercharge now from Zara. They're going to try and pressure her onto the safe. Last call thrown down. 
ticking damage, brings it down to 55. One Edgar jump, and this game could be lost, and ST men know it. They've got to get the perfect balance now between holding this mid and not getting too stuck on defense. Juke's there from Yao, trying to weave his way in, but it's scary that I've got my eye on. He's lurking and hunting Zar, trying to keep him lit in the bushes there, but Gero surely dives in in just a moment. He needs to get close enough to do damage to heal up, and Zar, so well oh. handled. Meow comes oh. up, there it is! Zeta Division explode, only needing 10% more to get rid of the safe. Gero or no Gero, they get it done. STMN's final chance to fight back. We're going in. Gero very quickly to the left-hand side lane. Last chance saloon for SCMN and straight to the safety goes. Hard landing, assisting with some of that damage. Sands will take him down, but already a bit of a dent on that safe. It's a better start. Much better start for SCMN, but they've been showing in that last game just how important it is to not drop Vol Gary there. Have a lovely jump on that right-hand side. A break from Nowy, that left-hand side exposed. Zala on the safe. He's going to get out of world of damage. Oh, look at the team. Sands as well. 47. Oh, my word. 37 going down. Quickly as ST men are fighting. Down to 22 now. We are in our race. And it looks like Gero is committed to going after the ST men safe. Eventually, Zeta can defend. They stay the ST men off. Now they're going to deal with Gero. They get him. 24% play 16. There's a good chance that this next push could be the last. Who wins out in mid? Meow able to find the pick on Sands here. And Gero's back. He's diving in. He's looking for the safe. And Zeta Division are the Alpha and the Omega. Inevitable, your 2023 Brawl Stars World Champions. Time to take the throne and be crowned the new Kings.